with Nebraska on the front lines of the global battle against Ebola and other infectious diseases. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Jennifer Griswold. Today, Offutt Air Force Base acted as a training ground to show off some of the newest technology and equipment to be used by the Department of Defense in the future. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Emily Zink was there and joins us live in the studio with the very latest. Emily? Well, Jenny Craig, the Air Force says today's demonstration and training was pre-planned. They're not preparing for any mass transport anytime soon, but they say it's better to be prepared. A C-17 flew into Offutt Air Force Base Thursday morning equipped with brand new medical technology. What we're going to discuss real quick is give you an overview of the transport isolation system. Local medical personnel, first responders, and service members got an up-close and personal look at two systems the Department of Defense has in place to transport patients with highly contagious diseases such as Ebola and SARS. We've had the single patient transport unit for a long time and uh, we knew that it was Okay, not perfect, but we could certainly move a patient. And then last year, when we had several thousand people in Liberia potentially exposed to uh, Ebola, we go, that's not good enough. Before, the patient isolation unit could only house one person, but now the transport isolation system could house a maximum of 12 people. This is a game changer for the Air Force in the medical community. Brigadier General Corey Cornum and Air Mobility Command Surgeon says with the single patient isolation unit, it was hard to properly care for a patient. But that isn't the case anymore with the new transport isolation system. In there, we can give you full critical care uh, and really do life saving care looking directly at the patient uh, with plenty of room to do it. Cornum says he hopes the Department of Defense never has to use the new units, but come fall, they'll be ready with 25 of them just in case. Coming up at 6 o'clock, hear why Dr. Phil Smith, the head of Nebraska Medicine's biocontainment unit, says this new technology will facilitate future transfers of infectious disease, disease patients to Nebraska Medicine. Live in the News Center, Emily Zink, KMTV Action 3 News.